So what's the big deal about playing tennis on different surfaces? What makes Rafa the king of clay and Roger the king of grass? And why isn't tennis just the same on all surfaces? Well today I'm here to tell you that each surface is very different on the tour. Hard courts, clay courts and grass courts all have differentiating factors that make some players shine on some and some on others. It definitely makes a huge difference to a tennis matchup as different playing styles are suited towards different surfaces. So the three main tennis court services played on the WTA and ATP tours are hard, clay and grass. Hard courts make up the majority of the tennis season with a lot of tournaments also being played on clay but the grass courts which historically were the only surface that tennis was played on is now the least played surface due to it being high maintenance. Let's start with explaining the fastest type of court, the grass court. Picture yourself dropping a tennis ball onto grass. How far do you see it bouncing back up? Exactly, it's not going to come back up very high. Grass courts need to be cut very short and need to be heavily maintained to even be playable at all because tennis balls don't really bounce very high on standard grass. This makes grass the fastest surface as it is slippery and the ball can skid through. Therefore players who are aggressive and hit the ball flat as well as players who are good at the net are very effective on grass because they can keep the points very short and the backspin on the volleys and slices won't cause the ball to backspin and spin up like they were in a hard court or a clay court but rather skid through may hit harder to return which explains why players such as Roger Federer and Pete Sampras and Serena Williams has been so amazing on grass. Grass also provides the most unexpected bounces and although you won't see this at the high quality courts of Wimbledon nowadays if you've ever seen an ordinary grass court or a grass court from way back when there were many unpredictable bounces which is another reason why players like to come up to the net and volley more. On the other extreme end of the spectrum we have clay courts. Clay courts are the slowest courts and are very responsive to spin. This explains why Rafael Nadal is the king of clay as he has the ability to run down every shot on the slower court as he is really fast and he hits the ball with a ridiculous amount of top spin causing extremely high bounces making it awkward for his opponents. This is also why many players play the drop shot on a clay court because firstly, players are generally standing further back in the court as they have to return the deep heavy topspin shots that bounce high. And secondly, because the backspin doesn't skid forward like on a grass court, but actually causes the ball to spin backwards, resulting in the ball travelling away from the opponent. This also explains why, if you're watching clay court tennis, that there are many long, grinding baseline rallies that seem to last forever, as the slower court makes it difficult to players to hit winners past their opponents. The final surface that the majority of the ATP and WTA Tour is played on is the hard court. This court is considered a court where all styles of play can succeed, as it is in the middle of a clay court and a grass court. The hard court, although it varies depending on the type of surface specifically, generally causes a ball speed in between grass court and clay court. It causes the ball to bounce very high and very predictably, as there are no irregularities on this surface. And all kinds of players have the ability to succeed on this surface, which is why the ITF likes to use it as the main surface for tournaments as it doesn't discriminate between playing styles. Now tell me down in the comments below, what is your favourite tennis surface to play on and why? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like to see new tennis content very regularly and please subscribe. And as always, any advice or video suggestions, please put it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.